Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. About a little over 72 hours ago, I picked up the Mac Mini M4, the entry level, the one that costs $599. Now, obviously, I didn't pay $599. I only paid 500 bucks for it uh, because of military and stuff like that. But uh, if you have an educator's discount or a military discount, be sure to get in there and get this computer at uh, at this great deal of $499. So, current lineup is a Mac Studio uh, M1 Max. MacBook Air 15 M3, uh, M2, the latest generation iPad, the 13 inch iPad Air M2, uh, M1 Mac uh, Book Air, uh, and then I still have access to an M2, my old M2 uh, MacBook Air 15. So, got the one, the two, the three, and the four, and I wanted to kind of reference, uh, purpose that video that way because I've experienced some really fast ones with the, like, just powerhouses for editing with the M1 Max. And then now here I am, I've been using the M uh, Mac Mini M4, the lowest trim that they have basically uh, for, for almost four days now. Now I've edited uh, videos on it. As a matter of fact, this video is edited on the Mac Mini uh, M4. Uh, and I'm gonna try to be brief in this one. Um, I, I don't wanna go too long, but I do wanna talk about the speeds and everything. So again, I, I recently put up an unboxing about 72 hours ago or three days ago, maybe four, I don't know. but um, I started using it right away uh, because I, I, you know, the word gets out fast. If something's really affordable, uh, you know, I really want to try it. And I think the Mac Mini M4 is by far the best way. The, the Mac Mini has always been the best way to get into the Apple ecosystem. But I will say this: anyone out there, someone made a comment saying I'm just going to get the previous generation. I just would advise against it. I would just say go for the entry level Mac Mini M4. If nothing else, it is the most affordable uh, and it is definitely going to be more powerful than the M2 and the M1. The M3, I compared my M3 uh, MacBook Air with 8 gigabytes of RAM versus this Mac Mini with 16 gigabytes. And um, I did the um, the speed, re speed uh, read and write test to see just how faster it is. And, you know, the fact is it's not that much faster in the read and write speeds. Uh, but where, where I was impressed with with the Mac Mini um, is, and what you'll see online, you'll probably see, um, I've only watched two two people, two influencers videos on the Mac Mini, uh, and neither one of them have this version. They have the Pro model, so the numbers they're talking about are close to the M1 Max, but not, all, you know, the M1 Max is rendering, it renders faster than that particular computer. But just by a little bit, not not by a lot. Uh, <clears throat> so the pro models, which you're probably going to look at and see a lot of people online saying it's phenomenal and then it's blowing everything out the water. But in reality, this model right here for $599 is what the majority of the world is going to be willing to spend. Uh, this computer will replace any PC. Yes, I said that. It will replace any of these current PCs. It's not all roses, though. Uh, but let me jump back a little bit. Okay, so I started editing with this thing as soon as I got it. And what I was impressed with was how quickly it rendered a 13-minute video, 4K, in six and a half minutes. Now, you, guys, you might say, oh, that's, that's not fast. I think that's extremely fast. The file size <clears throat> is really large, and it scrubbed the timeline perfectly. Um, I don't have a lot of transitions and a lot of overlays on there. I don't have it stacked very much, but still six and a half minutes for a 4k video um that's 13 a little over 13 minutes that's actually pretty good i literally walked away did a couple things came back and it was done i had a timer going and so i came back right you know i was kind of checking and it did it in just above six and a half minutes i believe that's really impressive like that's that's truly impressive when it comes to video editing so i say that to say this uh, if you don't follow me on blue sky need you to stop right now. There's over 100,000 people that follow me here. There's 4,000 some odd people follow me on Twitter. I'm no longer going to be using Twitter. I've switched over to Blue Sky. Uh, so if you're um, a person who doesn't like a lot of drama and you don't like all that petty stuff, come join me over there. My timeline right now currently on, on Blue Sky is nice and chill. Uh, it's not a whole bunch of nasty, vulgar things on there, and I hope it stays that way. So if you haven't seen me post on Twitter lately, it's because I'm on Blue Sky. So I'll leave my Blue Sky link down below. I gotta try to remember to put it in there. But if you don't have a Blue Sky account, millions of people are joining every day. 
So and you would think I worked for Blue Sky or they're sponsoring this video, but they're not. Um, I just want a place to, to, to be able to interact socially with people I don't technically know and they have the same interests and it's peaceful, clean, and you know, suitable for all ages. And right now, from what I can see on Blue Sky, it's working pretty good and that's where I'm gonna be. So with that said, um, I posted over there this information. Hey, I just edited this video and it only took six and a half minutes and people were impressed. Uh, so I think that's a good thing. And I think the everyday Joe, the everyday person, especially people coming from Intel computers, you're gonna be blown away at how smooth this thing is. Now, these are this computer is also for people who I say don't want an iPhone. You don't want an iPhone, don't get one. Get a Mac Mini because you get FaceTime, iMessage, you get everything that's on an iPhone at a lot lower price. You could buy the Mac Mini for $500 if you qualify for it. If not, it's only $599. Pay for it however you want to pay for it. Grab you a, a, a keyboard combo, Logitech. If you don't want to buy Apple's products, buy a keyboard combo from Logitech because they sell specifically compatible, I have them here in my office, I've, I've reviewed them for you, specifically compatible keyboard mouse combinations that are for Macs. It has all the same layout as the Mac. They have them, and they're well under $100. Like, some of them are $50. I've got some that was $27 for the combo. Totally saving a lot of money. And if you don't have a monitor, you can't feel like you don't want to get a high-end monitor, get a small TV. That's the truth. You can get a small 24-inch or 27-inch TV. You can get a 32-inch TV, actually, for under $100. Because it's just going to be used as a monitor. So, for $600, you actually can have a very nice setup. Mouse, keyboard, get a... TV if you want to, or whatever you want to get for 600 bucks if you get a discount, and for $700 if you don't have a discount, you can have a beautifully fast machine in your home or office, and it's going to do you well. Yeah, it's going to do you well. So Apple didn't send me my, Apple never sends me anything, so I'm not mad at that though, but they send the influencers these high spec computers and give you all these blazing numbers when in reality, benchmarks don't, don't really mean anything. The everyday person the everyday YouTube influencer or creator can use this entry-level Mac Mini. Now, Jay, it only has 256 gigs of storage. I get it. If you want to up the memory through Apple, knock yourself out. I don't think it's worth it. I think you come out better, like most people do, is you get an external drive. You can get a two terabyte external drive type C for a lot less than you can get for upgrading through Apple. A lot less. There's tons of ways to make it work. So. Um, I've been using this machine daily, uh, or at least when I'm in my office, I've been using it. I don't, I'm not here in here every day, uh, but I've been using it. I actually really like it. I definitely recommend it, uh, but there is something that, um, I don't like, <laughs> and it, it's, it's kind of a thing like, um, it's not that I lost my card reader because I have an external card reader. Just plug up. Like I'm going to plug this one in my, I'm using my Sony mirrorless camera, obviously to record this video. And so I'm going to take the card out of my Sony and plug it into the card reader that plugs into the Mac. Now the Mac Mini has, what, five ports, five Type-C ports, which that's that's really doggone good. Uh, it, it doesn't have any full-size USB. It just has the three the uh, three Thunderbolts on the back, two on the front, full-size HDMI, Ethernet. Um, it's so small, and it just tucks away so nicely. I'm going to show you here in a second. Um, the one dislike that I have and you'll see the way I have it just sitting right under the monitor there I don't like that the and no it's not the power button I, I that it doesn't bother me about the power button being on the bottom I, again it always takes for this one person to say something and everybody follows folks that is not a con most computers you don't even you don't need to turn them off every day you don't need to power your computer down every day you don't and what all my computers, I don't power them off every day. They sit idle, I plug them, I just keep using them. I reboot once or twice a month, maybe, or whenever a software update comes in, that's it. I'm not worried about the power button being on the bottom. That's not an inconvenience. But for what is an inconvenience for me is the freaking headphone jack. On the back of my Mac Studio is a headphone jack. On the front of the Mac Mini is a headphone jack. I'm like, they put it on the front. And I don't like that because... I actually use Marshall speakers for my desktop computer, um, and they work great with the Mac Mini too, just like they do in my studio. Sorry, I've got a little shaky camera. Hit the hit my desk, but yeah, um, I have my I have a ginormous Marshall speaker that I've actually reviewed on this channel, and it's a powerhouse. So I run it hardwired though because there's no latency. 
but I, I just want to ensure that there is none. That's all I want to ensure. So, it's your man Jay. If you guys enjoyed the Mac Mini M4, yeah, it's actually really hot right now, and I think it's going to be the computer. Uh, that most people are going to be using going forward because it's so affordable and I would love to see something like this get into the education system um, with with uh, in hospitals and there's so many use case scenarios for this entry level one it's incredible this thing is way more powerful than they let on I believe if, especially if you're coming from a PC and content creators I'll say this if you're a content creator and you feel like you have to just shoot for the yes I get it um, Having more RAM obviously is good for workflow, but if you really want to save a lot of money, you can definitely get this entry level, get you an external drive, and you are off, man. You'll be able to edit like crazy. You'll be able to have all you want at a fraction of the cost and still maintain uh, a good YouTube channel, whatever you do for your creation. I can guarantee it. I'm telling you, this thing is it's, it's good. So hopefully this helps some people, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.